Good day. I'm Eric from Island Software, and in this tutorial you will learn something about the UV Map Tool. Again, this video tutorial has been triggered by a question on the pigs fly list, so thanks for that one. What I will do is I will recreate a setup you might have seen in many commercials, you know, a cityscape or a kitchen or whatever is built out of unfolding panels like so. And, uh, well, in the end, there will be a nice trick about the UV mapping tool. So let's start this over. No, I don't want to save that. And start with the uh, basic setup I did here. So what we have here is just some shapes in Fusion's 3D space. And they are connected using simple expressions. If you download this composition, you can check them out yourself. So all I need to do then is I go to my master shape and when I modify the Y rotation, you see that the other planes are following quite nicely in that accordion-like style. So this is already animated to give me a motion like this. So basic nice unfolding motion there. Right, to build my actual scene, I then take these guys and put them on some 3D transform tools. So basically reusing the same setup over and over again until I come up with something like that that then builds my unfolding scene. Well, how to set up a scene for actual camera projection has been covered already by other video tutorials you can watch here on YouTube, so I don't want to spend time with that. But what I want to do is, I actually want to apply a texture to my objects here. So the easiest way to do that is to take an image, and, uh, well, if you have seen my demos before, you might have seen this image as well. I tend to reuse it because then I don't have to do another one. Right, I take that image and pipe it into the diffuse color material of my blind shader here. And then you see that the texture is now, let me switch off the light, is now repeated on each and every of these objects. Well, not exactly what we are looking for. So I need a UV mapping tool. I will insert that after the final merge here. So UV map like that. And now the uh, UV map tool offers me a couple of possibilities here. Planar, cylindrical, spherical mode. Of course I can move my mapping icon around here like so. But still it's not exactly what I want to do. So I switch this to camera mapping. And as I said before, I bring in a camera, as discussed in one of our earlier tutorials, and then you see that the image now nicely lines up with my created geometry. However, if I play now back my animation, you see that the mapping actually slides on the objects, and that's not what I want. I want it to stick on them. So back to my UV map tool, I activate lock UVs on animated objects. Then I also choose a reference time, which is frame 50 in this case. So the UV map tool now takes the projection map from the camera and nails it onto the geometry based on its position on frame 50. And that again means I can play back my animation here. And you see that the geometry nicely sticks to the objects. So I've got that unfolding motion here and actually if I switch to another camera let's say that one here and maybe animate that a little bit at the end I've got to look like this. You see I've got that effect. We've seen that many times in commercials in music videos. Now of course we still need our casual scary guy popping up on an image plane here in front of the camera. So that was it. Thanks for watching.